Here's how we handle co-sleeping with our toddler when on vacation in a hotel. If you've been following for long, you know that my preference is not co-sleeping and I prefer to use either a bed, a portable crib, and then the slumber pod. But on our last trip, we had four back-to-back -back destinations where we could only have a carry-on for our toddler. So let's get into it. I pull out his hygiene items and then he gets to choose whether he wants the bath or the shower. Tonight, he chose the shower and he also gets his toys inside. Currently, the favorite unlikely duo is the cow and the train. Then there's dad helping wind him down before bed. We brush our teeth. I first let him do it by himself and then I'll try and help. This case, he did not want any help. We then get into the bed that we're sharing and then read a book. Then he has to put his toys to sleep too. Sound machine turns on and I turn off the lights and then we cuddle together before he falls asleep. When he falls asleep, I'll line the bed with pillows to prevent any rolling and I'll quietly sneak out. Then Steve and I get to enjoy a couple hours to ourselves. In this case, we watched a movie and of course had the adult snacks. I found co-sleeping to be much easier when the bedroom is separate from the living space or having a